You know, today, clients really need to try to protect themselves from fraud within their business. And one of the ways they can do that is to be aware of the behavior of their employees on a day-to-day -day basis. Try to take note if anything changes in them. There's this thing called the fraud triangle, and there are three sides of the triangle, and all two of the three need to be present for fraud usually to occur. There's opportunity, rationalization, and pressure. So you need to have two of those in order to uh, have to perpetrate fraud. I don't get paid enough. So they rationalize stealing because they say, oh, I don't get paid enough, so that's the rationalization piece. But then there's gotta be another piece in there too. There's gotta be the opportunity. The opportunity is seeing that no one's paying attention to what I'm doing. And I have access to the checks and I can forge a name or I have a, a check stamper. So now you've got two pieces of the fraud triangle and someone can get away with something. Another one is uh, pressure. Someone is, you know, they're not gonna make their mortgage payment this month and they really need some money. So they have the pressure that they need to, oh, look, all this money's right here, I can just write a check. And then they rationalize it by saying, I will pay back next month. I, I will pay back next month, I need to get through this month, and then I'll pay it back. So there's another example of how there's two sides of the triangle and there's fraud. We have somebody we can email and get an answer right away from someone who's part of our network and it's not just researching on the internet trying to figure out the answer for them. We have um, credible, um, quality uh, connections that we can let our clients know we have access to. There's a lot of recent legislation that is discussing the expansion of sales tax to internet sales. And you may get, you know, you shop online, you get, uh, you know, something shipped to you and it's from out of state and they don't charge you sales tax. What they're trying to get into um, law is that the retailer will report to the purchaser and to the state what was purchased. And so the state can come back to the purchaser and say you owe us sales tax. This is, this is you know, brand new and it's all because of internet shopping it was only a matter of time before you know someone came along and said we're losing revenue here we need to make up this revenue that we're losing states have a lot of budget deficits and this is one of the things they've come up with so our clients needs change every day so we try to be on top of that be ahead of the curve and suggest things to them and let them know what we're doing that may be able to help them or someone else that they know so recently I've been letting our clients know how we offer forensic services to investigate their books and records in case they think there's something that could be done to um, increase the level of internal controls, to increase productivity, to increase efficiency in, their, um, in the way that their employees do their work. So that's one of the things that we can help our clients with just by having a conversation with them.